Hi everyone, it's Andrea and here today we're going to do another of the Marilyn scrapbook tours or flip throughs. This is volume four. Um, I'm sure you're aware that I've around 30 scrapbooks I think and it's still growing. I've, I've still, I'm in the middle of doing one at the moment. So these are going to be a lot of episodes so I hope you're enjoying these. Let me know if you are enjoying them in the comments below. But let's get started. Again, same style of photo album. I'm a bit... I like to have things matching. They don't all match, they will change soon. So this is book four. Again, we have a lovely picture of Marilyn on the front page. And then this is an article that was from 1994 from News of the World, uh, and now, a now defunct Sunday paper called, and it's um, You're Too Fat To Be Famous. And these are the photographs of Bill Burnside. Um, basically she went to, to be uh, went to a model and she went to see a photographer named Paul Hess and he said that she's too fat so she was very depressed so Bill, Bill Burnside took her away and took some of these fantastically gorgeous photos of her and uh, we all know that Marion was not too fat to be famous she was the most famous person of the 1950s along with the Queen and Elvis so that was like a uh, uh, page and then there's uh, about big boobs a bit back to and Curtis then we have um, a World of Leather advert using Pauline Bailey as Marilyn and a sofa. Don't ask me why, but there you go. Uh, again, Anna Nicole Smith is back on this one. Uh, I know there's light shine on it. It's very hard to get it without the light. Um, they killed Paul Marilyn. Now she's trying to, now they want to kill me. Um, yeah. Not a very nice article, not very flattering about poor Anna either, but uh, yeah. Then we've got uh, Eleanor wants more than making a good impression. So this is um, about a girl who's playing in, the girl in a production of The Seven Year Itch. This is uh, Marilyn Remembered. This is about a song that came up called um, How Wrong Can I Be? that she allegedly made at the beginning of a career around 9, 48, 48, 49 and it's a 78 RPM disc that um, recently, well back in the 90s turned up. I don't think they sold it in the end, I think they decided to keep it. Um, but yeah, and, and, and that's never come out on the, I know, don't believe, I think maybe excerpts of it have come out. I don't think the whole version has. I think, I'm not sure, I think I've heard it. When you learn so much it gets a bit lost. Uh, this is a uh, Another one of those collector's plates that came out in the 90s, all that glitters. I have this set upstairs. Then this is an article for, well, it's an actual advert for, advert for the Don Meyer Warehouse for a production of um, Insignificance. And Francis Barber played Marilyn. So that'll happen every now and again. I'll need to turn it sideways so you can see. Uh, this was from the National Enquirer, Marion Roe Clark Gable. This is what something that Clark Heston, Charlton, I can't even say the name, Charlton Heston claimed. Obviously, Fading Film Star needs a bit of publicity. Then we got Francis Barber again, Insignificance. And on this page, this probably was, I don't know, might have been from the stage, it might have actually been from the mail. And then this is just a letter from the Bradford Exchange, about 100 years of Bradford Exchange, and about Marilyn plates. And here they are. More Marilyn plates. Yes, I have them all. They did a lot of Marilyn plates back in the, in the 90s. I've got a lot of them. Empire's 100 Sexiest Stars, number two, Marilyn Monroe. Can't remember who number one was. Obviously, they're not that important. Then over here, we've got the release of America's Marilyn stamp. Um, this is about Liz Hurley when she said, oh, I'd die if I was ever that fat or something ridiculous. Or she was uh, screen tested for the role of Marilyn. This is before it came out that she said that. Um, this is supposed to have been for the immortals, which never happened. And then here we have a lovely little one from one of the film magazines. Marilyn's Addresses by Michelle Finn. We obviously have that book. We all know who Michelle Finn is. She is now Michelle Morgan, the author, who has written several books on Marilyn Monroe and has a new one coming out next year, which I cannot wait for. Also has written biographies on Carol Lombard and Thelma Todd, 
So there you go. She likes her blonde women, a bit like me. And Madonna. She's written a book on Madonna. There you go. Now this is the pictures of Elizabeth Hurley as Marilyn. And then we've got, this was from um, a magazine called The Fortean Times and it's Marilyn the Mystic. And this was about something that happened during the filming of The Prince and the Showgirl. Apparently, um, it, I don't know who this person was. Wanted, this person wanted to take somewhere and they went somewhere and they had this little time lapse incident inside a church or something like that anyway. Then we've got people dressing up as Marilyn. Um, again, this is probably for the immortal screen testing because uh, they're all wearing the same dress. So we've got Elizabeth Hurley, we've got Melanie Griffiths, we've got Jeannie Triplehorn, all wearing the same dress, doing pictures of Marilyn. So this would have been for, just as a, a movie for Marilyn's life. So there you go, none that ever happened. This is a girl who was in some like it, some like it was in um, Coronation Street, or as we call it. Oh God, no, not that again. Um, and she wanted to dress up as Marilyn Monroe, so she did, as you do. This is about the Westminster Collection. This is, I think, the stamps, isn't it? Yeah, the, the stamps. Marilyn coins that came out and some first day covers. Um, I didn't get those, but I do like to have the uh, little adverts. Um, this is about, I think, Blonde Shell. Uh, about Marilyn photos going for sale. Um, Some Like It Hot. Um, this was about uh, the dress blowing up and how it's been done in other films. Life's a gas when you have a famous name, so it's about somebody who has uh, the same name as Marilyn and Elvis and so on, because people do. Um, and then there's Michelle, there's our lovely Michelle, there's a look, at, look, look at our lovely Michelle. If you're watching this, Michelle, oh, the light shining on your head, hang on, let me just zoom it out so we can see you a bit better and pull it up. Oh, can we get it up? Remember that, Michelle? I think that was in, in Best Magazine, something like that. Uh, am I Marilyn's number one fan? And that was, it says about the fan club and writing of the book Marilyn's Addresses. So there you are, Michelle. The first, this is like the second time you've been mentioned in this one scrapbook. I'm sure you'll be mentioned again and again as the years go on. So yeah. Uh, again, that's about some like it hot. This was about a clock that came out. This was in like the National Enquirer or something like that. This is the Hollywood Collection um, jewellery, the Marino Diamond Ring. They, they can bring out so much and put a name on it. I so do not do it. I do not buy everything. Uh, Margie Clark dressed up as Marilyn Monroe. Not exactly right, but there you go. There she is. Lovely picture of Marilyn with a little review of blondes. A little bump. Over here is a little bit about something like it hot. On this page we have, I just want to go through a bit quicker than the last one. Um, 100 Years of Cinema, the 1950s. And this is a bit about Marilyn. Obviously you can't do anything about the 1950s without mentioning Marilyn, right? Oh dear. Right, this, this page is all about the making of something like it hot. This was from a film review magazine called Film Review from 1996. Lots of pictures of the filming, lots of stories about the filming as well, so it's fantastic. Like it, really do, do like it. It's a nice little article. The next page is about Ashley Judd, who this is around the time that they were getting ready to film or were filming. Norma Jean and Marilyn, and apparently Robert De Niro was dating her at the time. Advert for Jump for Blondes. Again. Oops. Next page is um, just a picture and an overview of Marilyn's life very, very quickly. 
and this is about more plates and the next two pages. So, Celebrate Mariners birthday with the only officially authorised limited edition plate featuring artwork from the, the first US postal stamp. So, that was the plate, that's the stamp. I did a whole series of plates with her in that gold rim. And yes, I do have one. There's another one. There you are. Um, here we go. Um, lottery, national lottery. Some like it lot. Marilyn picks her lucky numbers for our lotto lil. Yeah, right. Uh, this was from the Sunday People. Yes, magazine. And this is a, a drag artist. So hence thinks says that's my boy. That's what he looks like. And uh, dressed up as Marilyn. Uh, uh, lovely. I think it's fantastic. Does it say his name? Stefan Whitfield. If you're out there, Stefan, what are you up to now? We'd love to know. Back to the National Enquirer, one of the worst, worst magazines ever. Kinky secret sex, kinky sex secrets of the Kennedys. Do you really want to know? Are they not allowed any privacy even in death? No, obviously not. Sex session was taped, Dark Side of the Kennedys. Again, this, I think there must have been a new book coming out or something. Yeah, The Kennedy Men by... It says by Nellie Bly, but I do wonder about that. That's about Marilyn and Bobby. Yeah, right. Okay, it's quickly moving on. Ashley Judd. With her Marilyn look on, ready for the film. Norma Jean and Marilyn, not a good film. Based on the Ted Jordan book, awful. We don't like that. Next page, again, National Enquirer, Howard Hughes' Love Secrets. Um, again, you need to take all that with a pinch of salt. Mira Savino is Marilyn uh, doing the seven year itch from Norma Jean and Marilyn. The costumes in that were very good. I would say the costumes were very, very good. And there's Zazag Bull with an old trunk which has some Mir Marilyn items that were allegedly Marilyn's things. So. Uh, then the next one is from the Sunday Mail, the Mail on Sunday U magazine, and this is Eve Arnold, um, who took, as you see, various photographs of Marilyn through the years. And so it's all about her career, and because uh, she prolifically photographed Marilyn throughout her life, that's why I've, I've kept it. And I also, obviously being in photography, do like to have it's about photographers who uh, did take pictures of our lovely lady. Um, the next page is just a little bit about Marilyn there from one of the, mag I don't know which magazine it is now. This was from the stage and television today. Um, Misfits. This is about the filming of the Misfits. So I don't know anything else about it because obviously Manchester is a long way away, especially when you lived um, um, down south, in, oh, in the Midlands maybe. Now this is the first article I have about the David Gainsborough Roberts collection, which obviously he sold, was sold last year and he sadly died this year. Um, so this is what he had at this point or what he was willing to show at this point. And it's, there he is over there, lovely David. Now obviously, um, this was when they were doing a, a um, uh, la, 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 la. exhibition, I couldn't think of the word, at the Jersey Museum of much of his collection. I mean, he didn't just collect Marion, he did collect a lot of other stuff as well. I mean, he was on various many programmes over the years. And I, I do, I like that, so you can see all of his, some of his bits and pieces. And then on the back we have, um, this is in Russia with a Marilyn look-alike. And then this is about Tony Curtis, so. I'm not actually sure what it was. Yeah, so that was about Tony Curtis. Cur Curtis? Curtis. 
So again, that is, this is a lot shorter than the last one. I'm not sure why. Uh, I think it's because there were a lot of plate adverts in this one. Um, so that's book four. We have got a long way to go. We've got a lot more of these to, to look at. So <laughs> if you are enjoying this series of flip throughs of my Marin scrapbooks, please do leave me a comment uh, below. If you're any of the people I've mentioned, so any of the lookalikes, um, drag artists, authors, and you're watching this video, let me know. Say hello down, say down below. I would love to know if you're there. I know Michelle will be watching this. Um, well, I hope Michelle will be watching this, so uh, yeah. It's, we got a lot more to go through, so I'm gonna sign off here, and I will see you soon with uh, volume five. Thanks then, bye.